Hey everyone, I am here with Robin Ross of TV Guide, and she is actually doing a really exciting interview today. Do you want to announce who it is with? So I am interviewing James Vanderbeek, and I grew up watching Dawson's Creek, which is why I usually don't get nervous for these things, but I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. She's a really cool job. You guys <laughs> need to watch her because she is the one that interviews all of like the reality stars after they get booted from the show. Is that right? Yeah. And um, she just has like one of those really fun on-camera jobs, but today we're behind the scenes because she has to be on camera and she wants to look good. Something in between. We're gonna do yeah. like an on-camera look that makes you look like a normal human being. Exactly. Okay. Not too, not too tough, hopefully. Okay. All right. Yay. Cool. So this is Giorgio Armani Foundation with a Louise Young Foundation brush, and she is 5.5, which is a very common color. Um, Robin was telling me how she uses what tint and moisturizer did you say? Um, Mac. Mac tint is, and moisturizer. Is that too light? Do you think I need like a? I would do a normal foundation. Yeah. I would do a traditional foundation, something without any SPF in it. Oh. Okay. So she's got a purple dress on, so I'm gonna kind of play with that. I'm gonna use this duo right here from um, Nars called Kalahari. The two three nine. And. I like have you have it all labeled. I do have it all. I know I'm such a nerd. Look, label maker fun. Okay, just tip your head back just a little bit for me. Good. What colors do you think look the best on eyes for on camera? You know, any color works. I just think you want to make it like have a little bit of shimmer, make it kind of like on the brighter side. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to have like drab colors. Right. And when you're on camera, it's actually one of the few times you can. It's fun to kind of coordinate with what you're wearing, mm -hmm. you know? You've got this, like, really pretty bright purple, so I want to play with that. And now I'm going to use the other side of Kalahari. Other side of the brush. No need to waste another brush. Oh, so it's like a duo of yep, the same they name? Do, yeah, the NARS duos come, obviously, in a duo. Um... So I'm just like taking this darker side and I'm putting it into the corner so it's just a tiny bit deeper. So I'm gonna take oh, I'm gonna take this color right here, here Car Caravaggio. Always mispronouncing things. I'm gonna take the purple right here and take a look up. There you go. Purples are really good on brown eyes. I do have purple mascara from Benefit. I don't use it too often. You know what else is good? Purple mascara from, um, I think, YSL. But sometimes purple can be too much. You can go overload. Close. Being cuter in person. Is that makeup remover? Yeah. To get like rid of the under. under. It's just because I um, there's a little fallout sometimes. when. Okay, I'm doing um, Alme Intense Eye Mascara in Black Steel. Just actually... Look down for me. Can you see? Mm-hmm. This is the part that freaks me out. Okay, so she's on camera. We're gonna do a little couple false lashes. This, if she's doing her own makeup every day, I realize that this is a little tough to do, but it's James Vanderbeek, so we wanna look good. So if you put your mascara on first, then you can put the individuals where the mascara kind of naturally makes those clumps. Ah. All right, a little bit of brow. This is very simple. Just taking Bali from NARS, which is this color right here. Is that eyeshadow or it is, is it? shadow, okay. but I basically use it for brows. I use a brow pencil. You can. Yeah, I found like it makes actually makes such a difference. It just sets to... the stage for your eyes. <laughs> One more thing, we're going to take Abyssinia from NARS right here with the new 239 and just right under the brow bone. Do people know what you mean when you say 239? <laughs> yeah, it's kind That's of a 239. A <laughs> little bit of concealer. This is a NARS Duo concealer. I'm not going to show the mirror, but like that. And it, the color is Custard and Ginger. I'm just taking this eyeshadow brush right here. up for me. Is this really only good for under the eyes? Like it's not like really like pimple concealer, right? No it is. You can oh. use it for anything. 
It's great like on the go concealer because it's in this little compact. So it's not messy and you know it's not squeak you know, you don't it doesn't break in your purse. Mm-hmm. Okay, MAC Bronzer in Refined Golden, Bobbi Brown Blender Brush. Okay, so foundation goes last. I mean, First, what is this? Bronzer. Bronzer. I always do the bronzer before everything else, and everyone's like, no, do it last. But There's every no real okay. right or wrong. But is this so that in case you, like, it covers up any, like, eyeshadow that's fallen or anything, or you just do it last? Wait, you fun. do it. You do your bronzer when? I do it. I do foundation. Like when you get out of bed? <laughs> yeah, just I wake kidding. up and I'm, yeah. So I do the tinted moisturizer-ish foundation thingy, majig, and then I use a little concealer, mm -hmm. and then I use the bronzer over that, and that's, that's before I do any eyes. Oh, that's or totally fine. Okay, totally fine. This is a real education. Seriously. Actually, there really is no right or wrong way to put it on, as long as you're not putting bronzer on and then putting your foundation on over okay. it. Okay. Then we would have a little bit of a problem. That I don't do. Okay. These are Laura Mercier blushes right here. I'm trying to cover the mirror. We're gonna use that peachier one right in the middle. It's called Lotus Pink. It's a peachy pink. <laughs> okay, just kind of look right at the camera and just sort of smile a little bit. Good. We have a, oh, sorry, <laughs> I only have a little tester, but it's um, Laura Mercier Universal Setting Powder. Um, I'm trying it out before I commit to buying it, which I recommend you guys doing at home. You can do that, you can ask for like a little sample. Yeah. This is just gonna give you, it's not gonna mat you down totally, but it's just going to kind of set the makeup. Lips. NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Sex Machine, because James Vanderbeek is coming in. <laughs> We're going to pretend he doesn't have babies. Right, exactly. <laughs> now, remember where I t asked you about the red lip? Yeah. We have to show that to you. You're going to let me know if it's like a yes or a no. Okay. How do you feel about the red lip? I love the red lip. you got to wear it with confidence. Okay, and now uh, Turkish Delight from NARS. Hi. Hi, it's Robin. And I just interviewed James Vanderbeek. 